When is the best time to sell? Hello, everybody, and welcome to my open home. Tonight, I want to speak to you about when is the best time to sell your property. Now, today, marking the last day of winter, it's probably a good time because tomorrow, marking the first day of spring, which is traditionally the best time or known to be the best time to sell your home in the property market. So why is this? Well, it probably comes from a combination of a few different factors. I guess the, the first one is the weather, like, you know, buyers that are coming out of, and sellers for that matter, that are coming out of those cold winter months, start to see a bit of sunshine, um, the weather improves, the days are getting longer. So it, it just breeds that activity, I guess, in the property market. You've also got that timing where you've got, you know, you can be, sold and settled before Christmas or before the end of the year. So it's a new start and you've got that time available to be able to manage that and do that. Um, you've also got, I guess, you know, the buzz of uh, the media. If there's, you know, the sun comes out, you start to see some results and the media start to talk about it, which I'm thinking, I'm hoping that this is what's going to happen and people are going to start to click on to, well, you know what, things are moving along. So that's why spring can really have that, I guess, that new bloom of life in the property market and in life in general, really. That's what spring is all about. Um, then you've got, I guess, you know, the summer months where it's a bit hotter. Um, traditionally, December is a bit quieter because I guess buyers and sellers are concentrating more on Christmas and, you know, what, what's ahead of them for the tying up the end of the year. Um, and January can sometimes be very quiet because most people are away on holidays and it's not until those schools go back and people start to get back into the work, um, you know, working from home or whatever it might be um, in this new life that we're all living. It, but, you know, that, that normality of life um, that people start to think about their planning, either selling or buying property. So I guess this presents a real opportunity in summer if you are ready to buy or ready to sell. If you can get yourself in a position where, you know, at the end of January or the start of February, you are qualified and ready to do what you need to do, then it presents a real opportunity for those in an undersupplied market. Um, so if you play your cards right, you can time it very, very well. Um, then you've got autumn. And I guess autumn is traditionally a beautiful time of year where you've got the autumn colours. Um, it's not as hot as summer. So, you know, it's a, it's a nice sort of uh, time of the year to be out and about and being actively involved in the marketplace. And, you know, traditionally March and April are, are very good months to be on the market because you've really got that activity. It's similar to that spring sort of market. And then you've got winter, which obviously we've just come out of. Uh, and this winter, we've seen a real, I guess, shift in the market, which um, traditionally winter is a little bit quieter because of the, the shorter days and the colder weather. Um, you know, when it's pouring with rain, people generally don't like to go out. However, if you're seriously in the market to buy or sell, then you will do whatever it takes, no matter what the weather is doing. So, but, you know, this winter has been a little bit different than most because we have seen that shift. And what I mean by that is that obviously there's been quite a significant um, period where buyers have taken a step back and they are sitting on the fence, so to speak, and they're waiting, waiting for something else to happen. Um, and, you know, it, it's a a period of the year as well where it's cosy and it's warm. So if you're presenting your house, then, you know, it, it's really, it's easy to make it attractive to people and welcoming them into a cosy and warm environment. So there's something that I want to share with you, and this is the cold hard truth, because, you know, all those things aside, and you, know, you can try to make a decision on, you know, what time of the year is the best time to sell. But in all honesty, the best time to sell your house is when you are ready, okay? And it, it really is that simple because no matter what else is going on, you need to be ready, all right? Not only yourself, but your house needs to be ready to sell, okay? And there's a number of things that you need to do to, I guess, plan and prepare 
yourself and your house to sell it, all right? And this comes down to, you know, the time it's going to take you to get that preparation done, um, your own personal situation. And let's face it, there, there's a number of different reasons why you would need to sell a property or why you would need to buy a property. So it's going to really come down to your own personal situation. Um, then obviously understanding what needs to be done, um, the maintenance that's required on your house if you're selling and, um, yeah, I, I guess, you know, you, you want to be able to remove objections that buyers are going to be able to see. So you really need to be able to, I guess, hone in on what maintenance is required and how long that's going to take, okay? Um, whether you're going to do it yourself or you're going to outsource that, um, the money that it's going to cost to be able to do that and whether you've got those funds available and what other options you have. Um, then obviously, you know, it's that presenting your home to sell it and there's a little bit of work that needs to be done there, um, you know, the old decluttering or, you know, sorting out your stuff um, before you actually present your house to sell to the marketplace. And then there's the time it's going to take you to select the best agent to be able to represent you and your house on the market. And then, of course, it's just that um, managing that whole process from start to finish. So, there's so much here to consider and take in, and sometimes it's quite overwhelming and just that thought of, well, where do I start? Okay, so here's where I've got some really exciting news, and I actually need your help with this because I have been working on a new program where I'm, I'm wanting to help people understand how to actually sell their home and get themselves ready to do that and do it right, all right? So I've been working on this and I've got way too much content. So I need your help to, to work out what I need to keep and what I need to not use. So what's hot and what's not, all right? So I would love it if you could help me by filling out, and look, I've created a little survey um, and I'll put the link in the comments and I would really appreciate it if you could just fill out that survey. It's really quick and it's really easy and that's a little bit of fun because you can tell me what you like to hear more about and what you're not really all that fussed about. Um, but it's really going to help me do my market research to really drill down on what's important to you, okay? So um, thank you so much for joining me tonight in my open home. Um, I cannot wait to... Um, yeah, hear your responses so that I can really start to capture and create the content that's really important to you right now. So thank you again. I'm Lisa Stafford and I am your expert in property. I cannot wait to hear from you.